Hey everyone, it's Crystal Poncia with Windermere Real Estate. And today I wanted to jump on here and share with you how to be a standout buyer in the current market. So in today's market, you may or may not have heard, it's really favorable for sellers and a little less favorable for buyers, a little more challenging, a little more competitive. So how can you really stand out as a buyer? So homes these days are being listed at a price and then they're going and escalating to 50 to 100 to $150,000 over the listing price. So basically a listing price in Snohomish County these days seems like a starting price. So other than the amount of money you can bring to the table, what are some other things you can do to clean up, clean up, so to say, your contract and make it look more appealing to the seller and to a listing agent and get your um, bid to be the best bid and they choose you for the offer? So I have three tips for you. Number one, I would say to eliminate contingencies where you feel comfortable. So what is a contingency? A contingency is kind of um, what I would say is a condition of the sale. So some conditions of the sale for them to go through would be an inspection contingency or a neighborhood review, things like that. So you're saying, okay, I'm going to buy this property, but I want to see what the inspection brings up or I want to see what the neighborhood is like. So if you're comfortable try to eliminate those contingencies and just say, hey, I'm ready to buy this house um, and it's not conditioned upon anything. If that's um, um, what you can do and you're comfortable with in your situation. So that would be a, one tip for you. Um, a second tip would be to come in with strong earnest money. So in Snohomish County, typically earnest money is 1% to 3% of the purchase price of a property. Um, in an event that the buyer would walk away and, um, you know, they end up leaving the sale um, the without due cause, then the seller would typically get only 5% of that earnest money. So if you were to come in with strong earnest money and you were to say, hey, I'm gonna come in with this amount and I'm gonna give it to you and release it to you as a non-refundable earnest deposit because I'm not gonna walk away from the sale, I really want this house, that's something you can consider doing too to be more competitive. And then the third option, would be to um, consider putting a form in your transaction and your real estate broker, say if it was me, would know how to do this. Um, here, put a form in your transaction that would say, in case this house escalates to a price that the bank is not gonna approve a loan for, um, it's gonna appraise higher, um, it's gonna appraise lower than what we've agreed on the price to be. I'm willing to come in with X amount of cash to make up that difference. So that's one thing that you can do also because there's going to be some crazy escalations out there and they might not appraise with the bank to be the price that you agreed on. But if you say, I have extra money to cover that difference, that's going to make the seller feel happy and comfortable and hopefully your offer will get chosen as well. Like I said, these are just a few tips for you to stand out as a stellar buyer. I have many, many more. And if you're looking to sell your house, I'm here for you. If you're looking to buy, I'm also here for you. I'd love to be your trusted real estate advisor. Please feel free to reach out at any time with any questions and I'm happy to talk to you. Take care.